Right, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, so this video is pretty much one of the few videos that I said I was going to do standalone videos on from the from the previous video of me just, you know, exploring the uh, the new features of the DLC. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, and taking a look at the probably the most dumbest decision that Rockstar has ever made in GTA Online, especially for their community. Uh, and that decision was the controversial of removing almost 200 vehicles off the website. And I have to say, I have never seen anything so stupid from a company like this. This is truly just the stupidest thing ever. Now, as you can see, I do I am pulled up at the Vibrant Car Club because there's because the car club does have some stuff involved uh, with the cars being removed, and I'll exp uh, we'll actually enter in later on just so, uh, so just so that way you guys can see for yourself and see what I mean. And yes, I'm parked here with my Raiden. Don't ask why I parked here with a Raiden. I guess I'm I guess I don't know. I'm just trying to act like I'm parked in front of a car dealership with a Tesla, but other than that, so basically, it, so basically, as you guys know, it has been confirmed, they did actually remove almost 200 vehicles from the websites, if you go to Legendary Motorsports, you may, you can see at first, it didn't seem like a lot, but when you actually go to look at these categories, you can actually then see that some vehicles are removed, uh, in fact, and yeah, you can even start seeing that the list the list has been decreased by a lot. I will actually show you guys some lists of the vehicles that have been removed right now in, uh, throughout each category. So starting off with Legendary Motorsports, which is what we're going to start off with. We have 53 two-door vehicles removed from the Legendary Motorsports website. That is insane and ridiculous. We have... 17 four-door vehicles removed from the Legendary Motorsports website. And then for the motorcycles on Legendary Motorsports, we have one motorcycle removed from the Legendary Motorsports website. That one motorcycle being the Dinka Thrust, which I don't think people will actually give a crap about unless people actually cared about it. We're moving on to the Southern San Andreas website, which is where a lot of the cars have been removed. So starting with the two-doors, we have about 30 vehicles 30 two-door vehicles removed from the Southern San Andreas website. For the four-doors. Alright. We have 33 four-door vehicles removed from the website. 11 off-road vehicles removed from the website. 12 luxury vehicles removed from the website. 27 motorcycles removed from the website as well. These are decently big numbers, especially the first one being 53, like Jesus Christ. And we have six vehicles removed from the Warstock website. And then finally over in the Benny's website, we have one vehicle removed from the Benny's website. And that vehicle being the Comet. The Comet has been removed from the Benny's website, but also the Legendary Motorsports website. Like, what the F, Rockstar? Like, what the actual F? Now, if you actually look at one of the lists, you'll realize that you'll actually see the Sterling GT listed on the list. That's right, the Sterling GT has been removed. Now, just... Now, just remember that name, the Sterling GT, and we're gonna enter in the dealership. Because what I saw here, honestly, just pisses me off the most about what they did. So, you know how the Sterling GT was removed from the website? Like, the, all the other vehicles? Well, guess what? It's in here, in the new car club dealership, along with the Seminole Frontier, which has also been removed from the websites. You want to know the absolute worst thing about this? So clearly, it looks this place is meant for you to be able to purchase vehicles as well as claim a free vehicle at the back here. But there's one issue: you go up to the vehicle like this, you inspect it. And you realize that the, the two options to drive and purchase the vehicle have been grayed out. And that if you look at the options at the below, it says Explore GTA Plus. Do you know what that means? In order to purchase these vehicles, you have to buy GTA Plus in order to access these vehicles. 
in the garage. Meaning that the only way you could buy these vehicles again, only way that you can get these vehicles again from what I've heard on next gen is if you're on next gen, you'd have to go into the LS car meet and buy it off a friend that already owns that car that has been removed. For old gen though, it's unfortunate because they don't actually have that feature to buy off their friend, which is unfortunate. And it's just sad that they're making you pay a worthless subscription just for cars that literally are OG cars and that have been in the game ever since. And, and some of these cars have been in the game since launch. Cars like the Bullet, the Infernus. What, what other cars are there? Like, there's so, like, so many cars that have been in the game since day one, and they have been removed. So that's just unfortunate, really, that they're now going to be putting some of these old DLC cars in this dealership and making you pay a dumb subscription just to buy an old DLC car. That is just ridiculous. And, j and at this point, it's just clear that Rockstar is just asking for money now. Like, it's just... It's, it's just disgusting to hear. Like, I'm just... I'm just absolutely disgusted by Rockstar and, then, and their company nowadays. Like, Jesus Christ. They just... They're not even... They're not even hiding it anymore. Just like with the... A Literally just like with the AIs crashing into you when you're trying to drive on the road. This is exactly like that. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. They, they're clearly just... They just... They clearly just want your money. Just for all DLC vehicles. If it was for newer vehicles, I guess I would have been fine with that, but older DLC vehicles. The fact that it was almost 200 of them removed from the website. Almost 200. And I apologize for my rant, but I just have to get the word out there. Like, I'm just done with Rockstar and the dumb decisions. Like, it's just... It's just not funny anymore. It's just disgusting. I'm, I'm just, just... I'm just, like, devastated on, about this. Hopefully in the future they may hopefully they revert this in the near future, but the chances are it's gonna at least likely happen because it's Rockstar nowadays, they just don't care. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be the Avenger customer the update. But anyway, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. The next video will be the updated Avenger customization, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And then after that will be the missions. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.